All right, there's your train for today. We're inside getting loaded. You have to excuse the shaky cam, but uh, he's getting ready to go out the door right there. He just come inside to pick up a real car. So there you go. All right, talk to you later. All right, we just got loaded We're over here in Wortland, Kentucky. It is a little chilly out here. We didn't get much at all. That's all we got. It's about 11,000 pounds. So uh, it's gonna be nice and easy. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the uh, my lumber. We'll build a little bulkhead because there's not much weight holding us down and just in case. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bulkhead in the front and throw a couple straps. And I think what we do, we might put the tarp on and then strap the tarp down to the load since it's so low to the deck. Because what happens is the D-rings will end up about right here and it's hard to tighten up the tarp. So I think that's what we'll do. And we'll get some edge protectors put on the corners. So when they put the tarp down, put the edge protector over the corner. And that'll uh, protect the tarp so the strap doesn't pinch the tarp. But uh, other than that, looks pretty good. Nice and easy. It's cold. Now, I've loaded here many a times. And this is usually mud right here. But since it's so cold out here, it's frozen. So uh, it's not that bad today. Alright, let me get this done so I can get going and, and warm up. So talk to you in a bit. Alright. I got the truck running. It might be a little noisy out here, but let's try this. Um, I got the bulkhead built so you can see just in case they shoot forward. I went ahead and put a belly, I call them belly barrel strap around the middle. Uh, the one thing you want to do when you're doing these is make sure the strap pulls from the top down. You don't want the strap going underneath and pulling up. You want it to pull down. That helps hold everything down on there. We got another one back here and what that does is it squeezes everything together let's go in the back back here i know the sun we're looking into the sun but what that does is it squeezes everything together and helps hold everything tight as one piece so i'm going to get a piece of padding we're going to pull on this back edge and we're going to put a piece of padding on the front lay the tarp across put a couple straps over the tarp and then uh, we should be done so talk to you in a bit all right, we got the tarp on. I haven't put the straps on. I wanted to show you what this looks like. So, as you can remember, I was saying the D-rings are gonna be all the way down to the bottom. And see, it's still floppy up here. So once we go down the road, that tarp will have to get air under there. So you can see how the D-rings are all the way down. So what I said, we're gonna throw some straps over. We're gonna put edge protector right here. That'll hold the tarp down, hold the load down. In the back, I found a couple pieces of wood over in the pile over there. Hold the back of the tarp. So let's see. Now, we got lucky because if you remember my old blue tarps, they did not have this flap. So this is 20, I think this is 26 feet, 27 feet to this seam right here. And the old, the old tarps, I'd have to get another tarp out or get my little half tarp put over there. But with that flap, we just opened that flap up and laid it flat on the trailer. Since it's so low, it worked out really good. But as you can see, like on this side here, all the D-rings are down at the bottom. So we're gonna get our straps, throw them over, put some edge protectors on, and then we should be done. Uh, it is like, uh, I think it's like 18 degrees out here. So it is a little chilly, a little frozen. But uh, we're almost done, and then we're going to get out of here. So talk to you in a bit. All right. There's you another train right there. The double train day. Looks like cut coal on there. All right. We're almost done. Um, I got the uh, straps down, and I got the little edge protectors in there. Um, and uh, we just got to tighten it down make sure it looks good. So we're almost done All right, 
Let me tighten it down. I'll show you the finished product. Oop. I'll show you the finished product. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, we're finally done. Let's take a look. Um, it didn't go too bad. Actually, it looks pretty good if I say so myself. Um, so we used one tarp. We uh, we got a bulkhead right here. That's what the chain's for. Uh, bulkhead. That was one of the very first things when I uh, got my equipment, and I'd never done flatbed before before I come to Mercer. That was one of the very first things that I did. I practiced was bulkhead. Okay. Ah. Uh, Let's see, so we got our straps, we got a belly strap, our barrel strap, that squeezes everything together. So that looks good. That looks another belly strap, barrel strap. And then like I said, we got this is the flap of the tarp. The actual tarp ends about right here, but uh, we used a flap and it looks good. I found, uh, I found those pieces of wood there on the ground. So uh, that helped. Oh. Here, let me uh, let me put this bungee up. Now, what I do is I put that bungee so these don't, so this winches don't slide all over the place. So uh, let me get this, let me get this bungee on real quick. Hang one second. Okay, we got that bungee on. All right, I think that's it. Um, we'll get out of here. It's kind of late. I don't know what uh, what the plan is. We're gonna get back in the truck and figure out what we're gonna do. But it is kind of late, so I think it's about four o'clock actually. Uh, we were supposed to be in Wisconsin tomorrow, but I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, talk to you in a bit. <music> Okay, we made it back over here to uh, Mercer Town, USA. I've uh, already been out, double check everything, and uh, make sure everything looks good. Um, we're gonna spend the night here. It's about seven o'clock right now. Uh, we'll wake up in the morning. We were supposed to deliver this tomorrow, but it's just not gonna happen. So we're gonna wake up in the morning. It's about an eight hour drive. Uh, we'll leave here about five-ish. Uh, so to put us up there one two o'clock I mean there's a slim chance that we might get up there because we're gonna lose an hour going up there or gain an hour however you want to look at it so there's a good chance we might get up there in time but we'll see if not our reloads not until uh, uh, what you call it Wednesday is that right yeah so there's the Mercer sign there now we're in the different lot. I remember I told you guys we were over in the driver's lot. I parked over here today, tonight just because it's easier. Uh, today went pretty good. We did half, uh, it took about three hours to get unloaded. I did, it took almost five hours to get loaded. So 
we had a lot of time invested in doing nothing. But uh, anyway, that's all right. We're good. All right. Uh, fire up the generator. I uh, I did the math on the generator because uh, uh, I, I wanted to, I was looking at the hours. I got thirty thousand hours on the generator right now. I did the math. That's six point eight years. So if you can imagine turning on the generator and leaving it running for almost seven years nonstop. So. I know I've replaced a lot of stuff on that old generator, but it's still running. It doesn't burn oil. So that's a good thing. It's still chugging along. It's not burning oil. All right, that's it. I had a good day, all in all. I mean, we sat around, did a bunch of nothing, but uh, we had a good load. Uh, got some exercise, so everything went good. So talk to you later. Bye.